Hello everybody, this is a week seven um, module overview on information literacy. So information literacy is defined as the ability to not only read um, information, but to locate it, to assess it, um, to critique it, to cite it, and to use it, and to present it to others. And information literacy is one of the most important skills in our lives, whether it be looking up information about um, a medical um, situation, looking up financial information, or obviously in your academic classes. So in this module, you're going to watch, um, I think, six videos that De Anza College created around the concept of information literacy. You're going to learn through those videos about um, how to search, where to search, different types of uh, databases, and how to cite evidence in your work. Um, obviously, this is in preparation for your informative speech. So you're, you've already proposed your topic and now you are conducting uh, research to develop your topic. Once you have started to research and locate your sources, you're going to compile what's called an annotated bibliography. An annotated bibliography is essentially a list of sources that you think are going to be helpful or useful in the development of your speech. Um, there's a video on how to um, conduct an annotated bibliography and you could also um, read um, an article about um, conducting an annotated bibliography. And then this module ends with an, a discussion about academic integrity and chat GTP. So academic integrity is basically you, um, your values around research, um, how you research, how you cite sources, whether you're looking comprehensively at the information, you're looking broadly, and it's about um, being accurate, about being open-minded, and it's about pursuing knowledge. Um, and that's especially important in public speaking or oral communication because the information that you will be conveying is to other people. And they might do, think, say, or react in a certain way depending on your speech. So the quality of your information is very important. And then lastly, there's a brief discussion with your classmates about chat GTP, which is utilizing um, open source online, you know, information to conduct research for you or to assist you in the development of a writing or oral communication project. So there are some ethical dilemmas regarding that and if that's appropriate and to what extent and most importantly what responsibility do you have a stu do you have as a student to um, you know uh, adhering to ethical guidelines either from your institution or for yourself. So I wish you well on this and I look if I'm looking forward to your discussion on academic integrity.